in our country. A solemn ceremony for victims of recent violence between herdsmen and farmers. As the dead are brought in coffins on open trucks, emotions run high. Survivors say the attacks were carried out by herdsmen. Stephen Zion, a member of a local militia formed to confront the nomads, says he was left for dead when their camp was raided. We were in the camp. In the farmer's school. We were in the camp. Around 5 a.m. without warning, without information, we started to hear gunshots. They were shooting. We didn't have any rifle or ammunition. Mary is a mother of two. She's alive but suffered a deep machete cut to the face. Attacks and counterattacks between farmers and cattle herders have grown worse in Nigeria over the past five years. Last year alone, at least 1,500 have died and more than 100,000 displaced. As the 73 victims of the recent violence are buried here, the Nigerian government is sending soldiers to stop the killings. And the heart of the problem is access to land. A changing climate is forcing the migration of nomads from the north to the south in search of pasture. Existing lands reserved for grazing have been overtaken by farmlands and development as the population grows. And this has created conflicts between farmers and cattle herders. Security forces have announced arrests on both sides and some states have enforced a ban on open grazing. I know the size of my state and what land is where. To me, there is no two hectares of land, two, that you can put as grazing reserve. So it cannot work here. The whole land is occupied. But the herdsmen say the law was in bad faith, meant to extinguish their way of life. Uh, that grazing is the... Grazing is the Fulani's legal right as Nigerians. That's the way they were brought up. When they insist on ranching, they should be provided with ranches. If there is no provision for ranches, how do you want them to live? Efforts by the central government to demarcate areas exclusively for grazing is being resisted in some states. This conflict has been going on for half a century. With the rise in casualties and the scramble for land and water, many Nigerians say they believe the violence will get worse before it gets better. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Makurdi, Nigeria.